what's up everyone? We are back at the Walmart dumpster. We're gonna see if there's anything in here today. Yes. Premium diapers. All these salads. Yes, we never make it in time before it's closed. Oh my, some scissors. I can definitely use that. Look at Tigo water bottle. Look at this big box. 25 pounds. Oh my gosh. Cheese. Looks like chicken. Freaking margin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap, look at this. Whoa. Please. Can you see him? All right, everybody. So this is the fourth time that we've gone to the Walmart dumpster. And it's the fourth time we've come back with pretty much a full car. So this is crazy. It's awesome. It's disturbing, but awesome that we're able to save all of it while we can while they still have this dumpster. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but my gosh, this dumpster is huge. There is really nowhere to put down the camera. Usually do have it on like a little tripod, but to actually find a place to put it down is like impossible. And even if I did, you wouldn't be able to see anything because it's a huge dumpster. So yeah, on top of that, there are employees that work 24 seven at the Walmart. Walmart isn't open 24 hours, but they do have employees that are there 24 hours. So I'm always scared of someone coming out, throwing out garbage or like coming out with a forklift and dumping something on my head. So it's kind of nerve wracking. It's really hard to focus on what the camera is seeing and not just focusing on getting the stuff and getting out of there. So I'm very sorry for that, but there's a lot, a lot going on <laughs> in the moment. Uh, yeah, and we're still new to this, so please cut us a little bit of slack. I know it can be hard to watch sometimes. I edit out so much, I get a headache doing it. But like I said, we're really doing the best that we can. Anyways, maybe I should get on to showing you guys the haul and stop talking. We got all of this meat. I did completely clean this. There was something that kind of stained the sticker, but thirteen seventy six for that. Twenty twenty March fifth. We got it on. We got all of this on March fifth. So they threw that the day. Threw out that. Bleh, threw that out the day of its best before date. This was the oldest thing that we got. February twenty fifth. Looks completely fine. Really nice and pink. Just looks totally fine. I really don't think anything was wrong with that. Uh, you pay six forty seven before was nine twenty four. So that is cool. There is this thick sliced bacon. We have so much bacon. So much bacon. More bacon than we need. <laughs> this package of pork chops, marinated pork chops. This is nine ninety four for that. And it's best before date is March fourth. So that's was one day before we got it. But again, looked fine there were a couple more packages of this but unfortunately they had opened so i'm not going to take them out obviously if they have opened and those ones i got a chance to smell definitely didn't smell like they were bad so i'm sure that those are fine and these two packages of chicken are actually pretty cheap for this pack 521 567 i consider that cheap because meat is so expensive but yeah that's 50 dollars So like I said in the last video, our cats got into the food. Well, guess who got into that bag just before? And now he's trying again. We gotta put it in a different bag anyways, so... Poncho! Hey! You're not allowed to do that, you know that. 
he got into it right here. We went upstairs for five minutes. Come back down. Yep. It's gotten into. He's psycho. Oh, he got some out of it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> He's a very talkative one. So that was all the meat. That is super awesome. Then there was everything over here. We got all of these tomato juices. I didn't even count how many cans, but. These two rows are all tomato juice. These four bottles of this Pedia nutritional drink. There was a full box of Splenda. The box was just a bit wet from the snow, so it's now in a bag. Those were all fine. Two packages of cream cheese. They were also fine. What's their best before date? Wow, April 22nd. And May 17th. So those aren't even expired. There was all of this hot chocolate, plus one that I already opened and it's in the cupboard. I should have taken that out, but I forgot. Expiry date on this is... 2022 it's dented on the side but it looks like it's fully sealed so that should be fine and these are all 2021 august 03 and these three all had stickers on it saying that they were returned and yeah they're all still sealed three of those plus one big one so that's awesome and the one in our cupboard so that's four of these and two Packages of Mick Cafe. Oh, it's decaf. That's not my favorite. Fine ground coffee. That's fine. We go through so much coffee. We love coffee. I'll drink that. I also love McDonald's coffee. So, yeah. This whole boneless smoked ham. Uh, what's the best before date on that? I don't even look most of the time. Oh, I guess that's March, right? Not May. March 4th. 2020. All of this cheese, we already had some of this one. It's really good. And none of this expires until 2020, July 23rd. Uh, yeah, 2020, July 23rd. So again, no idea why they threw that out. That's crazy. Cheese is expensive. This huge, huge tub of margarine. I've never had one of these in my life. Not expired until October 13th of 2020. And still sealed, as you can see here. Sealed! That's insane. That's just insane. Then there were all of these salads and produce. There was also some more produce, which we already ate. A bag of grapes and some tomatoes. So, yeah, it was awesome. Usually we don't get a lot of produce either, and if we do, it's usually frozen and not any good. There was a lot more, and it was all frozen, but this is what we were able to save. These two peppers, these two bags of mini carrots, uh, yeah, also this box of chocolates, sealed, uh, this whole thing of organic baby spinach, which looked totally fine, and then all of these salad kits. Some of them were a little bit brown, others were not brown at all. Perfectly fine. A lot of Caesar ones, which is awesome. I love salad. I love Caesar salad. We also don't find those often. And if we do, they're always frozen. So that is awesome. I'll be eating so much salad now. So yeah, that, oh, this was a whole row of stuff from the dollar store that we found on the same night, one can of mandarin oranges and all of these cans of mackerel, which aren't expired until 2021, November 15th. Most of them had minor dents on the side. We have never had a problem with dented cans unless it's been dented on the, like, where it's sealed on the edge. So then we're a lot more careful. Like, something like that would be still be fine, but if it's, like, right on the edge and has created a gap or anything, then you can have a problem, so... Yeah, we do try to be very careful with stuff like that. So that's everything for the food. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of money's worth of food thrown out for no reason. Plus, if we had gotten there earlier, there would have probably been a lot more produce that we could save. But yeah, I'm so thankful for everything we got. That's awesome. Plus, there was all of this stuff, which is not food products. There were these 
baby clothes, this outfit, but it said it was missing its bottoms because you can't just have that. That makes it garbage. There was a super cute little outfit. had a sticker on it saying it had a dirty spot. I washed it. It was brand new with its tags. The tags were luckily attached to the hanger. $12.94 for that. Super cute. Has little pants. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. There was also this little pair of pajama bottoms. The tops were missing. And a pair of pants. I believe these were a return. They are worn on the knees. But that should still be fine to donate. They are not too bad. There was this Chia Pet Yoda. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> it comes with the stuff to plant, right? Yeah. Soak clay in water for half an hour. Add seeds to your Chia Pet. Water it and watch it grow. <laughs> that's neat. There was this little toy car. A little Max Liquidator Unicorn Blaster was $5.97, now $3, so they threw it out. There's nothing wrong with it. This, I guess, somebody opened up at the store, but it's still all there. Two-player something. A battery pack, which is super awesome. We already tried it. It works fine, has no issues. 10,000 mAh. It's a nice big one. That is awesome. These we haven't tested yet. They are brand new in the package. They don't look like they've ever been opened, so I can't see what could be wrong with them. Super cool. They have a light, they have a thing to put your phone on, and USB outlets as well as regular outlets. So we could definitely use those. Night light power station. There was this wireless charging stand. Also haven't tried that. No idea if it works or not, but it did look completely brand new. There was this little ball, frozen mashems. Not sure what that is. A NHL street hockey ball and a hockey puck. Nothing wrong with those items. There were some more baby wipes. We have so many baby wipes. So awesome. These have the better top though, the plastic top. A bottle of Avino Baby, that's brand new. The cap just broke off, but it's still sealed. A brand new package of soothers. A brand new package of diapers. Premium diapers. No lotions, no fragrance, no latex. Just love. So that's really cool. There was this brand new double flat sheet. There was this little alarm clock. Haven't tested that either to see if it works, but... I wouldn't see why not. There was this wooden heart. Didn't seem to have anything wrong with it at all. It has things on the back of it to hang it up. That's pretty cool. There was a pair of tongs, which I'm kind of excited about. Mine were stolen from me. So now I got some replacement ones from the dumpster. Awesome. This little lampshade. $9.98 for that little lampshade. It had a little dirty spot on the inside of it, which wiped off just fine. The outside looks perfectly fine. This Pillsbury baking sheet, which has a small little dent there. Otherwise, looks fine. That is awesome. This Contigo water bottle. I'm pretty sure they threw it out because the label halfway came off. It is brand spanking new. That's awesome. Could definitely use that. A brand new box of hair dye. A brand new package of scissors which we could use that too we have no good scissors around the house and then these four bags of cat food just insane there was this one which our cats got into well just one of them i should say don't blame the other one there was this one this smaller one and that one which actually looked open for some reason so that's kind of weird all the rest were totally sealed and they were expired as of, wow, this one's October 5th, 2019. And I think these big ones were also 2019, September 21, 2019. There was this whole thing of Tidy Cat's litter. 
I am so psyched about this. Super thankful for free litter. That's an amazing thing to find in my opinion. It's way overpriced. This bag of water softener salt. There were more bags, but there was no way I could lift that over the edge of the dumpster. I'm amazed I got that one over. It's a lot of work, but yeah. It's ripped on the bottom here. The other ones were all more ripped as well. So we got that one at least. We don't even have a water softener. Well, we do have a water softener. We found a brand new one in the dumpster, but it's not hooked up, so yeah. There was this brand new pair of safety glasses, two Coleman glow sticks, two packages of some kind of tape. I think it's for hockey. There was this really weird roll of tissue paper. Dookie the pooping unicorn. Poop better. Uh, yeah. It's individually wrapped. Not sure what that's about. The Prince of Poop. The things they make these days. There was this garden sprayer, which really looks like it has absolutely nothing wrong with it. I don't know why they would throw that out. There was this cable clamp. Looks brand new. A brand new adult bike helmet. 14 plus has the price tag of $32.93. It's clearly never been taken out of its packaging. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Again, not sure why they threw it out. And all of these potatoes, I forgot. I'm not sure how I'm gonna store these yet to keep them the freshest. We do have a cellar. Our house is like 100 years old. And we have a, a hatch to go into a cellar, which is where we keep stuff like this. So we'll store that down there. There were quite a few potatoes, lots of potatoes. These bags are potatoes. And those were all good ones. Some of them were bad in the bags. All the onions ended up being bad, so that was really sad. But yeah, still thankful for everything else we found. That was an awesome haul. An awesome, awesome, awesome haul. That is going to be a lot of great stuff to donate, use, eat, give away. Yeah, just all awesomely useful stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And we will see you all next time when we dive again.